Hey everybody, welcome in to Smokin' with the Smiths. On today's episode, we are going to make a low-carb, keto-friendly, sweet and spicy meatloaf for you guys. It's one of our favorite uh, recipes that we've done on the Pit Boss, so I'm excited to be able to do another one here. And make sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and we'll get started here and show you what you guys need to make this amazing sweet and spicy meatloaf. Okay, so the first thing that we need for our meatloaf, obviously, is going to be our meat. So I have here a pound and a half of ground beef, as well as a half a pound of ground pork. So we're going to put that in the bowl and combine it. Alright, and to the meat, we are going to add our vegetables. So here we have a quarter cup of carrots and a quarter cup of celery. And we also have a quarter cup of onions and a quarter cup of red bell peppers. Another thing we're gonna add here is our garlic, which we have two cloves of minced garlic. And then we're going to add two tablespoons of your favorite barbecue sauce. As I mentioned, we're doing a sweet and spicy meatloaf, so we are using G. Hughes Sweet and Spicy Barbecue Sauce. So once again, you're going to need two tablespoons of that. Now we're just going to mix that up. Okay, so once you got all that blended together, we're gonna add our wet ingredients. Here we have two eggs, as well as a quarter cup of heavy whipping cream, and then we're gonna combine that together as well. Okay, so once we have our wet ingredients incorporated into the uh, ground beef and ground pork mixture, we're going to add our dry ingredients. So for our dry ingredients, we have here a quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese. We also have a half cup of, uh, these are pork rinds that I just smashed up real fine. So we're going to add a half cup of pork rinds. And then we add our barbecue rub. And for the barbecue rub, we mentioned before the sweet and spicy, so we're going to go with a sweet heat rub from Pit Boss. And you're going to add a tablespoon of that into your mixture here. And then once again, mix that up until it is all combined together. mixture all combined we are going to put it into the loaf pan here so I have the loaf pan and I'm going to spray it down with some extra virgin olive oil and then I'm going to put some saran wrap in there so that the meatloaf doesn't stick in there and it'll make it a lot easier to pull it out because obviously when we smoke it we're smoking it instead of baking it so instead of keeping it in this loaf pan we're going to take it out and put it on a smoke rack. So to help the meatloaf keep its form, we want to put it in here and, and try to get it in that nice compact shape that's going to keep its form while it's on the smoker. Now we're going to fold this 
saran wrap over and let the meatloaf chill in the fridge for at least two hours before we put it on the smoker. Okay, so our meatloaf has been in the refrigerator for two hours. I just got it out and what I did here is I lined a uh, cooling rack with some aluminum foil. And the reason I did that is because we don't want to put this meatloaf right on the grills of the smoke or on the grates of the smoker because in case it would happen to crumble apart, which hopefully it doesn't, but if it would happen to crumble apart, then we won't lose any meatloaf down into the grill. It will all stay on this uh, on this sheet and cook fully. So we're just going to pop this out of the uh, container that we had it in here. So before we put this on, we are going to hit it with an, uh, another uh, dusting or covering of the Sweet Heat Rub from Pit Boss. We're just going to make sure to get it all over here so it gets a nice little crust on the outside. getting the meatloaf prepped in there I got the smoker heated up we've got it set to 275 degrees and we've got hickory pellets in the smoker we're gonna run this uh, for two hours with the meatloaf and we'll check it then and see how it's doing so I checked the internal temperature of this meatloaf it's been on for an hour and a half the internal temp is up to 160 so that means it's time to baste it so we're going to take our G. Hughes sweet and spicy barbecue sauce that we put in the mixture earlier and we're just going to dump some of that on top. And then I've got a brush here. And we'll just brush that in. gonna slide it back in and we're gonna let it cook for another probably five to ten minutes just to get that barbecue sauce a uh, little tacky on there and give it a nice crust on the outside all right we pulled the meatloaf out it's been ten minutes since we basted it the total cook time on it was roughly an hour and 45 minutes until it reached an internal temp of 165 we're going to let it rest here for a few minutes, probably 10 minutes, let it rest, cool down, let those juices redistribute back into the meat, and then we'll slice into it and eat it up for dinner. So there you have it, the perfect meatloaf on the Pit Boss Casey Combo Smoker. It's easy, it's simple, makes for a great meal and enough leftovers for a meatloaf sandwich the next day. So make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, all that great stuff, and until next time, we'll see you then.